here with the lovely ladies of Fib Harmony. Hello. Hey, we're so excited cool to see you guys. Yeah. We're excited to see you. Yes, it's been a while. So. Yeah. yeah. You guys look gorgeous. Thank you. Take it back, <laughs> back, yes, back, way back. Remember when you guys got out of X Factor? Yeah. Uh -huh. We were the first to interview straight out of X Factor. Holy Do you remember crap. New York? In New York. Well, yeah. I definitely remember Real Spaces. That's right. crazy. So it's so good to see the success. We're so proud of you yeah. girls. Thank, Thank you. you. Was that the last time? Yes, no. that was the last yeah. time. No, we, no, well, we, we saw you all again. Here? In Miami. Yeah, yeah, in Miami, yeah. Miami yeah. you're right. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. In Miami. It was so good to oh see. You know, God. we've been following through. It's always so good to meet an artist when they're beginning and then see them, it's you know, take rocket. off. Thank, Thank you. you. Really I, amazing. I Thank kind you. of somehow like kind of take that credit for myself too. Cause <laughs> I, I, met them I was the first one, <laughs> <Right>. everyone. <laughs> yes. Congratulations I put them on. on your single down. Thank in, like, you. Number one in like 21 countries. Yeah. Last I checked. Yes. 22. Okay. 22. <laughs> 22. Okay. So that's 22. Amazing. So how do you guys yeah. feel about that? Like it dropped and it's like you have that much success. power. It's amazing, honestly. Like I, I mean, I, it's a humbling experience every single time that we put out a song and anybody you know reacts to it. That's as an artist, that's all you can possibly hope for in terms of a career you know so we're super grateful for our fans and for anyone who yeah. just like is interested in us and what we do and, and the music that we're making because I feel like you know it was pretty an, a, a pretty like anticipated drop I feel like everyone was like kind of looking at us like what are you guys gonna do so that was cool but like it's awesome that people really were receptive to it and were loved it. Were you guys it. nervous at all because all, everybody was looking at you like what are they gonna do next? Yeah. We were like we were, we were pretty nervous because but we were ready. We were ready we were nervous ready. but ready at the same time. Yeah. Um, so that day before we dropped it, we were like already doing some other stuff uh, for our music video, just adding on to it. And then we all stayed up to like 12 a.m. Yeah, and girl. then the next day we had GMA and we we're just like, yo, let's just wait and see how everyone reacts to it. Yes. But at the same time, you know, it was just like a relieving feeling. We're just like, like you know what? It's finally, finally all out there. Finally. And our fans, though, <laughs> like our fans are legit like FBI's. Like, literally. They, it was an interesting they, way. And we're just glad that it, it didn't leak Thank out, yeah. at least. Thanks. Nothing leaked out. So that Nothing. was a plus. Thanks, um, so yeah, it's whose weird. idea was it to do this strategy of like sending out coordinates and like different lyrics? Our team, our team, our team, our team, our team is super dope. Like, but they they're cool because they come to us and they're like, hey, we have like these these creative ideas, like, and then you know we're, we're like, cool, we like that, that's dope. <laughs> so let's do it. so fun because they got to come out to like our hometowns. Right. So Houston, San Antonio, Santa Ana, California, um, Miami, Florida. So it was just a fun activity for them to just you know be involved. Right. And yeah. And you, harmonizers are one of the biggest fan bases. I mean, you oh have every artist has their fan base, but once you say is. harmonizer, you just yeah. see it. Right. On Twitter, like we Instagram. met. Yeah, we met harmonizers they outside. They're fans. like, yeah, we were at their hotel, and I'm like, what? <laughs> Girl. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So what can we expect from the new <laughs> album? They actually told us that you guys were gonna give us the name of the yeah. new album. Oh, they yeah. did. Yeah. Can you believe that? You're no. Oh, that's that is some that, that is some that 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 journalist really magic that right there that you just did. Really? Oh, I commend that was cool. you. Your manager didn't tell you. Actually, we don't have an album title yet, but we have like a pre-album al album title, that makes sense. Well, the fans created it. It's hashtag 5H3. Right. Yeah. And it's so like, you know, our third that. album, so 5H3, Fifth Harmony. So, so talk to us about this new album. Like, wh what's the differences yeah, before, you know, since your last album? What, you know, what can we expect? Mm. I think um, you could just hear like a lot of growth. You know, I think that we've grown not only as musicians, but also as women. And we've grown to love each other even more. Um, and I feel like throughout this process, we Really? <laughs> Are you questioning my love for you, girl? <laughs> <laughs> and it's cool because we, we learn from each other, too, musically, being in the studio, because, like, either me or Lauren will write a song together, and Allie and Dinah will do something, and then we swap off. And it's really just awesome because, you know, we start from the ground up with these producers and with these songwriters, and they have the respect enough for us to kind of take our ideas into consideration and um, we apply it into the music and you know we feel it that much more that's why this project's so special and we literally jam out to it like every day I was wow. stalking yeah, your Twitter and I know that somebody asked there was a friend that asked I think it was your mom oh shoot Malika about <laughs> of the album oh, no. and she Mom's on Twitter saying oh I the album, I love it. It's just what I like, R&B-ish. Oh, I think that was oh, no, your mom. Yeah. Your mom. Yeah. Oh, was it my mom? Yeah. I didn't oh, know I yeah. That yeah. She sound, oh, yeah, sound like wise, sound wise yeah. we definitely have a lot of R&B yeah. tones, a lot of, um, 
a lot of it's it's like pop or urban R and B. Like it's it's the Fifth Harmony sound. It's it's kind of what you can come to expect from us. I feel like the only reason I'm sorry, the biggest difference from like then to now, like you were asking, is just mainly that uh, what Normani mentioned that we were able to like co-write and really be creatively involved on a level that we have never been before. And like vocally, you just like we all have like it's such a dynamic range of sound, and and we all have like such soulful voices, and you get to hear that, and you get to hear. Yeah, we're yeah, singing. Going going it's really, it's really <laughs> awesome. It's dope. No, you guys are gonna perform. Everyone's waiting for you guys to hit the stage. It's yes. The crowd's gonna go bananas. Thank what do you guys uh, do right before you hit that stage? <laughs> right before we definitely <laughs> we pray. pray. We pray. What do you feel? We like, definitely what, what say is a prayer. We pray to God. And yeah, we, we, we get really excited and pumped. Well, especially now that we're performing our song for the first time, like not on TV. Um, it's going to be extra exciting, and yeah. we're going to be just really pumped, doing vocal warm-ups all over the place, and just uh, getting really, music. really hype about music. Yeah, she shake it the out. Music. Is there the dance moves. Is there one artist that you still haven't been able to work with that you're hoping it, uh, you know, it'll come oh, along? Yes. Nicki Minaj. <laughs> yeah, we've always, we all Nikki, collectively we said Nicki. We love Nikki. our girl Nicki. Nicki Minaj. Right. I think to write a song with somebody would definitely have to be Bruno Mars. Oh my really god. That's yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Or Kendrick. Ed Sheeran was Kendrick fabulous. And Kendrick. They're all great. Kendrick. Yeah. Yeah. Oh I Miguel. love Miguel. Yeah. Yeah. Any of them in the album? Justin Timberlake. Just like, what you say? Any of those <laughs> artists? I'm Lulu. I just asked. I'm just people they're trying to. This girl. We do have like singer songwriters that have wrote like written with us. Written with us. So Pooh Bear and Skrillex are on Ooh, Pooh Bear. But the rest, you gotta wait. You gotta wait. No exclusive? Yeah. I mean, what if I told you that if I get the exclusive, <laughs> I get a raise? Is that I know. <laughs> Yo, I feel you. I feel like that's like everybody's thing. Like, I have a feeling. Well, Lala is always on her phone on Lala. Instagram. She's like always taking selfies. We're literally yeah, on yeah. air live, and she's what just taking she's selfies. Like, no? She's like, I'm on air live. What do you mean? That was, that and I'm looking at her like, we're trying to work here. Who is the one that takes the most selfies? Zaina. No, it used to be me. It's okay. Okay. No, maybe Wait. It's Armani really? Now. Lauren, is it you? Oh. She's tripping. <laughs> I post cute pictures that are taken of me. Oh. 99% of the time. Oh. Do you take a lot of selfies? I took like one selfie. No, you've been taking like. 30. No, I, I don't feel know. Like it's still you and. It's Mon. still you and Mani, girl. I don't yeah. really see her taking selfies. You know what? I think the, I think the no, crowd I think it's still you. Or I you. have photo shoots. I don't take selfies. You, but you, uh, but girl, I've okay. seen your camera roll, and you really got <laughs> selfies. She's oh, got so her right camera. Now. Her like camera roll is ten thousand plus I photographs. Have selfies. Oh I just have goodness. Snapchat. And on top of that, Snapchat. like you go, and it's like thirty of the same mother it's the same picture. <laughs> it's thirty of the same picture, like, like just different, like. And I don't delete any of them. Pictures. That's what? good. I don't need. So either. from your success, from when you first started to now, like, what's the one thing that's probably been like the most like stressful or annoying whether it's like spending time with family relationship wise or anything like what's been the one thing that you're still trying it's so hard to deal with definitely still being away from home um we're, we're rarely home because we're always busy i mean being biz being busy is obviously amazing Good, because yeah. we're doing really well um especially now but it, it gets hard you know because you just miss your family a lot you miss hugging yeah. them and just being home in your own bed that can get challenging. On your downtime, what are you guys watching on TV, Netflix, anything? Like what yeah. 13 Reasons Why. The Keepers. The Keepers we watch together. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's amazing. Together. Oh, we watch we The Keepers together. We watch The Keepers yeah. it's together. It's intense, but it's it's, it's good. <laughs> quite a conversation starter. Not for yeah. this new album. I know I keep going back to it. <laughs> I'm going to keep going back to it. <laughs> They're not going to spill the beans. Let me finish. She's like, Spanish, anything, any, you know. Girl. You know what? We we'll get back to you on yeah. that. Yeah, we we're gonna oh. get back. We'll get back to you on that. That's a maybe then. Cause we Nikki, maybe. Nikki Jam, Nikki Jam is here, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You can talk to him about. We're gonna, we're gonna walk yeah. into his dressing room. We should. Okay. We'll we're gonna be like. For you guys. Okay. Oye, Beautiful. Nikki. Me <laughs> paga. <laughs> ah, dale. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, girls, for thank being you here. Girls. Thank you, girls. We're so proud of you, girls. Thank yeah. you. Thank you so much.